Hello everybody and welcome back to Biking with Emily. This is Tiguan. He is not the reason why we're here. This is Inline Skate Warehouse. So in my one video you realized or you may have saw me try and fix these. I did not succeed. Also, these ones still missing a binding or a buckle. This one has the buckle. Actually, a piece of it is still over there. So, this came in the mail the other day. And let's see what's inside. Oh, it's upside down. Completely fail. Ta-da! Right side up. Right side up. Let's, 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 let's. All right. So I bought new rollerblades. I am doing this on top of a recycling bin. So we're going to open the box sideways. Can you see what's inside? Nicely laid out, my skate manual kit. I am pretty sure it says left on left and right on right. My new bindings or buckles. I have to make this over top of the box, so let's put the box. And the new new buckle. Oh, it has a little push lever here. And then that snaps on. So I'm not going to use these. Oh, they're long enough. Ooh. Oh, and I think the holes line up too. Oh, and it even says push on there. Oh yeah, I think the holes line up too. I got the, the clip. Which that should line up too. Oh, this might be an easy video for later on. It'd be a very easy video for later on. And mounting hardware, which looks like little screws and washers. Made in China. Go figure. Everything's made in China. So we're going to put those aside. Remember those for another video, which obviously is going to be another maintenance video. And those are always a disaster because this time I get a pull out of drill. I get a pull out a power drill. But let's get to it. So, old one, K2 Ascent. I got these brand new, and I don't remember buying them. So, that's how old they are. If you know how old these are, put in the comments and be like, yeah, those are from like 97 or something, which I wouldn't be surprised if I'm not far off. I've been rollerblading with Montana with these. So I might actually continue rollerblading with him with these because he likes to chew at the the tongue and the uh, and the well, well this one's loose so but he likes to bite my blades my roller blades I don't think I'm at the level where I can call them blades. Dun, 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 dun. This is actually how they come with a cardboard roll in the sock so remember to move the cardboard roll and there's oops paper on the inside too so remember to remove the paper Ta -da! what do i know about these besides the wheels actually 
spin. I'm going to actually look at the box so I make sure to get the name right. These are the VO2 S100 Pro M. Whatever. It says Pro M on the box. These are for cross training, or they say cross training. Um, what do I know about them? They fit. They're four wheels. They're 100 mil. Um, they got this cool pull thing. They got the. They got the pull tab. Pull on this little tongue. Releases everything. You pull on this to make it nice and tight. Velcro. Buckle. 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 Oh, this is neat. Look. You tighten up the buckle. It goes inside the boot. See? That's neat. Never saw that on any reviews. Um, yeah, I don't really, I'm not going to get into any technical nothing. Why is it one-sided frame? I don't know. Why is there, is it supreme su su support in the rear? Frame in the rear, none in the, I don't know. Is it a Ram Air with the vents? I don't know. I got them because they were expensive and they look like they're fast. So, I stuck with the four wheels for the simple fact I've never rode three. And I've never actually rode four for like the last 12, 15 years. Possibly 20. But... I don't know. They were, you know, they were saying they're less stable, but it's a little bit bigger. Those center wheels look like they're pretty, pretty level with each other. So I wouldn't exactly say the wheelbase is that much longer. These are 70, 72 mil. So I wouldn't exactly say it. Okay, maybe you might lose some stability. As far as I know, probably I'm not going to notice it. But I wear a couple of reviews and they said the middle wheel becomes your pivot. And they can become more unstable. So I figured because I'm less skilled. Four wheels. And they look really, really badass. Now obviously... The other one. I am probably going to leave the brake on. Always wear protection. Remember that. And the cardboard roll. And more paper. Tiguan! Come here, Tiguan! So, these are VOR tech ventilation system. I'm assuming the ventilation system is all these holes at the bottom. You can see there at the nose. The Firebird Ram Air holes there, there, there. And then they come out the back. So there's the ventilation holes. I assume. I'm guessing. But I like that. I like the way the binding goes inside. That's pretty neat. So these do look pretty badass. And I like the fact that the wheels spin. And I'm really eager to try them out. I'm going to be doing cross training on these because I bike a lot in summer. I bike a lot in the winter. So maybe it's time to switch things up and give some rollerblading a try. Not that I'm going to give up mountain biking. It's just I am cross training and I got these for cross training. So because I can't travel and mountain bike, I might as well cross train on rollerblades. So there were a couple of reasons why I bought the four. I went with the K2s because I ordered them online. And I know that 11 and a half fit. And they're a little big. 
So I'm assuming as long as K2 stuck with the same sizing, I would be able to, well, if these fit and they're a little big, then I'll go one size smaller and get the 11s and these will fit. Simple. And yeah, the four wheels were just, I never tried the three wheels. Uh, lots of sports shops in Winnipeg didn't have them in stock. And uh, your center wheel, I heard, becomes your pivot and they're less stable. So I figured these have the more stability and I'm not going to be doing crazy tricks or crazy stunts and I'm not going to be doing that, you know, that foot thing like this. And really, I'm just going to go rollerblading with my dog. And if I want to get carried away with, you know, hockey or even try the sticks, I can just, well, here are my 72 mil wheels. So I basically, technically, I guess I got the both opposite ends if these wheels would spin. Oh, those are filthy. Bearings are so filthy already. Yuck. I wonder if that's the grease leaking out. Could be. But anyways... If I want to get like crazy, I still have a 72 mil wheel. So I've got my 100 mil for like, you know, cross training. My 72 mil if I want to actually venture into trying breaking my neck and, you know, why not? So those are my new roller blades. If you want to look up any, get more, watch someone who's professional at this stuff. And I'm going to go try these out. Take my dog for a run. Take care. Bye-bye. Take care. Stay safe. And have fun. Sorry for pointing. Now I say bye-bye.